Hey, this is Dwight here at Buck Hardware. Uh, here with our trusty 430X Husqvarna auto mower. Uh, this is our demo unit that we use. Uh, we put this machine through just about everything imaginable to prove the customers, you know, what it can do, what it can't do, and just to, you know, see for ourselves. Uh, as you can see, you know, it's, it's got its battle wounds. It's pretty scraped up and beat up. Uh, but what we're going to do today is take you inside and just kind of uh, give you a better idea of better understanding of what happens if you buy one of these and you bring it in for a repair or a world warranty problem. You know, because everybody thinks, oh, this has to be like a $20,000 mower. It's not. You know, it, it's like you know, this one here, $26.99. You know, um, the one above it, the Cadillac with the auto mowers, $3,500. But uh, at any rate, you know, since everybody seems to think that it's going to cost a fortune to buy one, we're pretty sure that people think that it's going to cost a fortune to fix one. It's going to be impossible to fix. We're going to have to, you know, if something happens to it, it's got to be sent off to NASA. That's not true. You bring it into us, we can take care of it. The way we do that is the same way we, the same thing we do uh, before we set it up, or when we set it up to bring it out to your house. We hook this cable to it. This cable connects it, connects the auto mower to the computer. We can go in there, we can test every sensor, every switch on the machine. Um, we can test the wheel motors, we can check the battery, see what it's at. <clears throat> we can check this charging station. Um, I mean, it's, it's really everything on the unit basically can be tested through this cable and with the computer. We can start the wheel motors, we can make this thing drive back and forth, we can make the blade spin forward, backwards, uh, we can lift it and tell you like what degree it's being lifted at. <clears throat> so not only does it tell you if the sensors are working, but it also give you an indication as to which sensor you know, is being activated at that time. So what we'll do here is, uh, <clears throat> we got this one hooked up, we'll turn on the computer here and start the program and uh, just give you a little look at uh, you know, our end of it. and just kind of try to reassure you as to the fact that you know, if you buy one of these, it, like you say, it's not going to have to be sent off to NASA to be fixed. You're going to be able to bring it into us, you know, uh, it, it's not going to cost you thousands and thousands of dollars in labor because it's high tech. It's fairly straightforward. Um, yeah, so let's get ready to take a look at it. All right, here's what happens. <coughs> like you say, you bring this into the dealer. Um, you got a problem with it, you don't know what it is, you drop it off, <clears throat> here's what we're going to do. We're going to fire up the computer, we're going to run the auto check program. Um, what's really cool about this is, like I say, everything that this mower has done, basically it will be in here. Uh, collisions, fault codes, who owns it, how long it's been ran, all that stuff, along with the ability to test the majority of the components, if not all the components, on the machine. You'll be able to test the, uh, the sensors, the battery, all that stuff. Well, I'll show you here. So, wow. Um, let's see here. Let's look at the log book. Uh, general data. Right here you can see, you know, the customer, us, Buck Hardware. We've got our address, phone number. Um, you know, here's the here's the uh, the serial number of the machine. It tells you that it's a 430X. Uh, down here, let's get back to home. Get back to home. Down here in the corner, you can see this is the uh, the assistant. But here it will tell you that it's connected, and here it will also tell you that no auto test has been perform performed on this mower, meaning that up here you can see we've got the auto test. What this is, <clears throat> and this is something we do before we bring one out, you know, to install it in your yard. We run it down all of these tests right here, and kind of self-explanatory auto test it automatically goes through all them. Uh, checks the software. Uh, you can check the the loop system, the display. That's every button on the display, you know, 
not just the numbers, but the up, down, start, all of them. Uh, on the keypad, uh, it, it, it just checks everything in there. So if there's a problem, we know before we even bring it out to you. Uh, the alarm, the stop button, collision sensors, lift sensors, tilt sensors, battery, uh, back to tilt sensor. You can actually calibrate it to make sure that it knows, okay, this is what flat is supposed to be. Um, then you can check out your big ones here, the blade motor, wheel motors, and uh, cutting height motor. And last but not least, you can also check out your automotor connect to make sure all that's working. It's a 430, it shouldn't have automotor connect. Um, they don't from the factory. We've upgraded this one, so um, there again, you know, it's something that we check out before we bring it out. So if somebody does want one of these installed and they want to upgrade it to the automotor connect package, we can do that and we'll make sure it's working. So let's get our log book. So you can see this is us. Um, here we got the manual tests. We got couple different categories, power motors, sensors. Um, <clears throat> with the, uh, the power motors, the cool part about this is you can check out your blade motor, your cutting height motor, and your wheel motors. So let's try it out here. Let's make sure our cord's out of the way. So let's start up the, uh, let's start up the blade motors. Right here from this computer, we can start the blade motor. You can see right there the RPM that the blade motor is spinning at. And the whole time that's spinning, you can see what your battery is doing. So now we're staying right there between, you know, 2270 and you know, 2300 in that range. Um, that. And we can actually spin the blade motor backwards or in the opposite direction of what we were spinning. How about height of cut? Here you can see we're cutting currently at height setting number four. So what if we take it down to two? You'll hear the motor going down. It's dropping the mower blades down. There it is. We'll go back up to four. Now you can watch the current. You can see what your battery is doing while that motor is moving. Here we got the sensors, and this was a really this is a really cool one here. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, lift sensor activated, no tilt sensor, uh, normal position. So this is what happens when this thing's out in your yard, and uh, somebody goes to pick it up, it will sense that immediately. As you can see, right there, lift sensor activated. Doesn't even have to be as harsh as that was. Just that little bit, you can see right there, just that gradual lift, and it's telling you that the right lift sensor is, has been activated. Then if we lift the entire machine up, as you can see right here, this is telling you, it's telling us on the computer, but it's also telling this machine as it happens out in the yard, what angle it is at when it's being lifted up. <clears throat> so right here we've got Right there is a 24 degree angle. Now, 24 degree angle, as some of you have asked and uh, we've told you, um, <clears throat> those of you that ask about can this machine handle a hill? Yes, it can. It can handle an incline up to 46 or 45 percent. Um, you know, as far as coming down the hill to the boundary wire and stopping. So that's 40, 45%, it's a 24 degree incline, which is this right here from the counter up here. You can see 24 degrees right there, it shows you on the screen. <clears throat> then again, 
we have this sitting here flat. If we want, we can recalibrate the uh, tilt sensor to let it know, hey, this is what flat is, not this, not that. Um, this also works with the, uh, with the rear collision sensors. If you tap it there, you can see. So anytime there's any kind of movement on this thing, you can see it. Here's the. Now this is the this is the collision sensor right here. It's telling you none reactive, uh, but if we push this this back corner right there, it's lighting up in that back corner and in the front. So we just do the front one. We get the front one. Front. Front, because the front just picked up. So it's really just that, that simple there. <clears throat> now you can monitor everything through this. Um, another cool part of it is the long book. I think I was showing you before all our information. Well, it would be the customer's information. Um, then you can go in here to, uh, let's see, fault memory. Right here is every fault this machine has ever had. The last one it had was on 9-16-2016. It was lifted at 10-11 p.m. That was, uh, I believe, the last night of the Slanko Fair. We picked it up to put it away. Actually, I was just loaded in the trunk of my car. Uh, but at any rate, uh, all the way back to 5-25-16. That was the first one it had there. Uh, operating history. Lots of good stuff there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Go in here to operating data. We come in here. We can see how many hours of total runtime it's had. Let's see efficiency. Number of faults, 70. Number of collisions, 7,646 total collisions. You can measure it all right here. The charging, uh, charging cycles. You can see how many charging cycles it's had. You know, pretty much everything, right there. All right. Well, that's a little bit of a inside look at what goes into uh, preparing an auto mower to be set up. You know, at your house um, before we bring it out to your house to set up, I should say. Um, and a little inside look as to what goes into. You know, diagnosing and repairing an auto mower. So as you can see, we don't have to send it off to NASA. Um, we don't have to bring in a whole team of physicists. Uh, we don't have to dig up Albert Einstein and get him to figure this out. We can handle it. Uh, thanks for watching.